Hi guys, well this is the intro for episode 12. Now this will relate to wanderings around Christchurch. I spend a lot of time walking around Christchurch, observing the um, empty sections, empty office spaces, mostly all car parks. It's pretty sad really. Um, there's a nice peaceful calmness about Christchurch now. I think, you know, the people that live there have been through so much and it's just it's just calm walking around the peace you can feel it getting into you um, everybody's friendly but then they always were so it was my dream holiday to go back and see all the things as a tourist instead of a visitor visiting family so i spent six days in christchurch city itself and saw as much as i could went out to the red zone which you'll see in this video um, where all the houses had been demolished taken away um, I went with people who, my friends, daughters, who had um, lived in the red zone. They showed me the house they lived in. That was right on the border of the red zone. You wouldn't have believed it. And so that house didn't get destroyed, but everything around it did. Um, it's kind of eerie walking through there and just knowing that people's lives were there and now they're all gone. Um, I went into the cardboard cathedral kind of doesn't feel like a church really you know when you compare what it was but you'll see that from the outside that the Christchurch Cathedral in the city is being revamped rebuilt I was up in the library I was told by somebody to go up to the top floor of the library and you can look down over it and I did and you'll see the footage from that um, the library staircase, the library's brand new, um, the staircase is beautiful. It's wood from Sweden. It was a Swedish designer that designed the library and they imported this wood that's used in Sweden for the internal staircase. So you'll see that, it's stunning too. So Christchurch City was packed with people off the cruise ships. It was three in a week. And I got friendly with these volunteers that were showing the tourists where to go the, and all that sort of thing. So I had my own, first thing in the morning at Hubbard State, I had my own volunteer tourist guide tell me all the different things that I needed to know. I went to this really cool bar for breakfast a couple of mornings in a row. They had um, a full bacon and egg breakfast and toast and coffee and all that for $13 or something and that was really cheap. I got told that by the volunteers. Um, walked around the river and the city, went everywhere. So. I did do the gondola ride um, up onto the summit, but you'll see that not in this video, but in probably number 13. And Fairy Mead, the other parts of Fairy Mead train historic museum, you'll see parts of that too. So this one will just concentrate on Christchurch and what was around Christchurch and, and all that sort of thing. And everything's central, you know, the roads are really laid out. You just walk down one road and you're at the central, at the um, Remembrance Bridge. Um, I mean, it's probably changed a lot, but yeah, you got a map, you just walk down one road and come back down another. Anyway, have a good week and see you again. Bye. Good morning from Christchurch. That's the Remembrance Bridge behind me and it's raining. So hopefully I'll get some good stuff here anyway, regardless of the rain, because you don't let the rain stop you when you're being a tourist. Like my hat, got it off Timu. It's keeping my hair dry. It's a raincoat over the top, which I had to go back for because it was raining when I came outside the hotel. Let's do a tour of Christchurch City. The autumn colours are coming out. Just a little bit early for most of them. They're starting to shine through. And Canterbury is a very great place for autumn colours. The only thing I'm finding is it gets light late. I'm used to getting up at six o'clock or five o'clock in the morning and it's, it's daylight and I can go walking, but here it's seven o'clock before it's daylight. It's because they have daylight saving in New Zealand. The Bridge of Remembrance. It looks like the sun's going to come out eventually.
Just for your information, I work for the City Council on the tourism side. Yeah. Information on this. I'm recording, you know. Oh, great stuff. On the arch. On the arch here. It's been here 101 years as of April 25th this year. And when we had the quake, it all wobbled. I wondered about that. And it didn't fall. And then they discovered it wasn't the arch that was wobbling. It was the bridge that was unstable. So they took the cap off the top of the arch, yep. filled it with 100 tonnes of concrete, no, yep. 40 tonnes of concrete, yep. and the weight of that stabilised the bridge. Oh, good. Yeah. And mm. with all the tie-up with Anzac Day and the battles and stuff, this welcome mat over here on the yep. ground yep. Yep. by the local Māori uh, tribes, yep. as you can see in the middle of it, there are red poppies. We'll have a look at that in a minute. I'll finish doing the bridge first. Oh, good one. Okay, <laughs> great. I actually got a YouTube channel, so this is going on YouTube. Oh, fantastic. So as long as you don't mind your voice on YouTube. Oh, I don't mind. Not at all. <laughs> and there are two BC Victoria Cross people on either side of the bridge at the top there. So who are they? Uh, that one is uh, Sir Charles Upham. Yeah. And that one, I can't remember his first name, somebody called him. Okay. I think uh, Upham was a double BC. Eh? The olive tree that you can see straight ahead of you yeah. came from, the original cutting of it came from Crete. Okay. That's like one of the, I heard one of the um, the boat guys down on by the river yesterday yeah. and he was saying about the willow tree down there came from France. No, from uh, St. Helena, which is where Napoleon... Yeah, he said Napoleon, yeah, he did say right. Napoleon. The original cuttings of that came from there. Yeah, yeah. And if you go down to Victoria Square down there, you can see a plaque and a whole pile of information about the willows. Oh, right, yeah, okay. Down yep, there. Yep, yep. Yep. Oh, it was recommended to come here for breakfast, 12 bucks. Bacon and eggs on toast and coffee. So now we're in Cathedral Square. Tourists are coming in. Looks like this clock this clock stopped at 12 o'clock. It's never been fixed. From the top floor of the library, looking down on the cathedral and what they've done so far and what they're doing. got this amazing staircase in here it goes up all the floors beautifully made it's a brand new building it was built after the earthquake it's quite spectacular really this is the beginning of it beautiful woodwork in 300 meters turn right onto Latimer Square All these car park areas were where buildings once were.
So that church has been turned into a pub, red and black. This is the church that was put up for replacing the cathedral while it was being renovated. Not sure what no cruising zone means, but it's like some kind of stadium being built. So that's what they're building. There's the church there in front of it. Awesome mural. What a beautiful lot of buildings. I think this is the art gallery. It is too. This is the Great Hall. Magnificent. Sorry for all the wells, but it's well. This is absolutely stunning in here. This is part of was part of the University of Canterbury um, and it was given over to the Arts Centre in 1978. Sorry I got my sunnies on, I forgot to take them off. It's um, beautiful, I can't believe it. I just walked in, wow I've never seen anything like this in New Zealand. So yes.
This is another building that's going to come down. Everywhere you go there's always a drill or a saw or something because it's the rebuild still going on. This is about the women's suffragette movement. Yeah, I think I've got duck poo on my hand. So you'll have to pause to read it. Metal straw, really weird. I thought I was recording and I wasn't. Is this? That's an electrical bicycle that looks. So. <laughs> Don't know. This was donated in 1983. And it doesn't say when it was made. This place. Hardly nobody here now. It was um, packed this afternoon into this morning. We had a cruise ship in for the fourth day in a row. Hard to believe, isn't it? It all like, used to be housing. This is from the red zone in Christchurch, where all the houses got um, bulldozed down. Some 
driveway. What, this one? Yeah. yeah. Like, Is that where you're walking? Mm. 